Hi, my name is Graham Berryman and I'm the Operations Manager for Ice Picking in Australia and New Zealand. And today we are on site in one of our projects and we're going to uh, go through the process for you and a tour from um, injection through to taking it out. Today we're working on residential water mains to reduce the frequency of discoloured water. But ice picking isn't just for water mains, it can be used on sewer rising mains or any, basically any pressurised pipeline. Ice slurry is a great material for cleaning the inside of water mains as it is coarse but dissolvable, uh, making it highly efficient at scouring the inside of the water main without causing any uh, pressure variations or any damage to the water main. Uh, Suez has been uh, leading the way in this kind of uh, cleaning technology for the last nine years. In that time, ice picking has proven to outperform previous water main cleaning methods in effectiveness, efficiency and risk reduction. Hi, my name's Ed Petz and I'm the project engineer for ice picking in Australia and New Zealand. As you can see, we're at the start of our ice picking journey. Over the next 30 minutes, the ice can travel over a kilometre through the pipe, so we'd better be quick. A semi-solid ice slurry is produced from flake ice and salt solutions. The amount of ice required for the process depends on the length of the pipe to be cleaned and its diameter. Stand pipes are installed on hydrants as close as possible to the upstream and downstream valves. The ice can clean multiple pipes from a single location. All the valves are closed to isolate the pipe from the network pressure and depressurize the main. However, the main always remains full of water. Ice is then pumped in to the insurgent hydrant and the displaced water is taken out of the discharge hydrant. Once the required amount of ice has been pumped into the pipe, both hydrants are closed and the upstream valve is slowly opened to pressurize the main and push the ice through to the other end of the pipe. As the slurry moves through the pipe, it collects and carries sediment and biofilms as it navigates bends and changes in diameter. A conductivity alarm indicates that the ice has arrived and we switch to the waste tanker. An analyzer unit is utilized at the downstream hydrant to measure key parameters, including the progress of the ice slurry along the length of the pipe. The water before the ice arrives is generally clean and can be collected for reuse or flushed to waste through a dechlorinator. After the ice is diverted and collected in the waste tanker, there is a short period of flushing to reduce the turbidity down to below five. For water service providers conscious of observing sustainability, expectation from regulatory bodies and the community more broadly, ice picking offers an environmentally friendly and cost effective substitute for historic water main cleaning methods. Thanks for joining us on the tour and we'll see you next time.